plan B. And today I'm going to talk about a vegetable that a lot of people I have found don't like growing. And you know what? If I only had one type of vegetable plant to grow, let's say they gave me one type, you can only grow. This is the one I would pick. This is the number one vegetable that I wait for each year to grow. And I'm going to tell you why after I do a little harvest. And just so you know, this isn't the first harvest of the season. I've been harvesting now for almost a month. Let me go do my harvest and we're gonna sit down for a few minutes and talk about this plant that seems to be overlooked by so many people. Let me get this going. Don't forget the gloves because they can be spiky. I think I got all these. Let me go ahead over there. I think there's a couple over there still that I didn't get. So I am back with my one day harvest and there are a whole bunch more back there. One of the totes way in the back, the red one, has two plants in it. I was going to pull one, but one plant is throwing a massive amount of male flowers and the plant right next to it is throwing a massive amount of female flowers. So I'm getting so much fruit. We have gotten so much zucchini. I want to say this year, but forget this year. Now I've been harvesting and bringing them in. Now this is granite, a little big for you know the average person. Most people want it about this size or a little smaller. And this one, by the way, is a small gray zucchini. That's what it's called. And it's a lighter or Mexican zucchini, it's also known as. Now, any of the zucchini is fine with me. I am just so happy to have zucchini. I get so many messages from you guys saying, I hate zucchini, I don't like it, I can't stand it, it doesn't taste good. Whoa, how are you cooking it? <laughs> I mean, I can't see any reason not to like zucchini, but in your defense, I was the same way. I could not stand squash. I didn't like squash, I didn't want to look at it, let alone grow it. What would I want to grow this stuff for? I didn't like it as a kid. Well, let me tell you something things change and it isn't my taste. It's how you make it. It's how you prepare it. Let's start off with the size again. The first thing is if you want them small, that is fantastic. Pick them small. You can pick them a little bigger. If you want them big, that's fantastic too. Whatever way is going to work for you. But you know what? I didn't like zucchini because of the way I grew up with everybody cooking it. They used to chop it up and put it in a pot and boil the dickens out of it with tomato sauce. I didn't like it. I couldn't eat it. I, as a kid, it was like, I didn't even want to look at zucchini. And then one day I started doing some research. This is years ago. And I thought, this is a really nice plant. And I started growing it in a garden and I cut it open raw, a small one. And do you know, it is sweet. It tastes better than sometimes a cucumber. It really has a good taste. And I thought, I don't know why I don't like it. So what I did, my first dish with zucchini, not doing anything fancy with it, was just peeling it, and you don't have to peel it if it's real young, slicing it up real thin, and putting it in a frying pan with a little butter, sauteing it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and I fell in love with zucchini. That's just one way of cooking it. 
I don't know if any of you remember, but back in the 60s, 70s, maybe it was the 80s, I don't remember, time flies. There was a big thing on soy. Everything had soy. They were making soy meat. They were mixing soy into meat. They were mixing soy into everything to expand your food. They would take a pound of, of ground beef and mix it with a pound of soy in. Well, that kind of, that fad kind of disappeared. I didn't like that either. That's what I do with zucchini. Zucchini has a unique flavor. It's like eating a cucumber with almost no flavor, just a slight sweetness to it. And it tastes so good raw. You could grate it up and put it in a salad, slice it up, put it in a salad, get your spiral thing. You'd need it a little smaller, make pasta out of it. Put... Zucchini takes over the flavor of anything you're making. Keep that in mind. Anything you're making, it will take over the flavor. What I do is I am not vegan. And I do happen to like a good taco with beef in it. But getting older, I've noticed that meat's a little hard sometimes on my system. And I don't want to eat a lot of meat. So I could take one hamburger. I can buy frozen hamburgers in a package. And take one hamburger, put it on a frying pan, mash it up and fry it up and cook it with salt and pepper, whatever way you want to do it. And then take a nice size zucchini and either put it in my chopper and you can peel it or not peel it. If it's young, don't peel it. But if it's a little older like this, go ahead and peel it. Chop it up, put it in your meat. You will end up with a big frying pan full of what looks like whatever meat you, you cooked in there. And it tastes wonderful. And then you can put that in tacos, enchiladas, any casserole you make, lasagna, I use it all the time. That's why it's so precious to me. You want to make a really good coffee cake, a zucchini bread? You can put zucchini in anything. You can make pickles out of zucchini, and it tastes better than cucumbers. You, there's just, there's a million and one things you can do with zucchini, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff up. Or I'm going to try to get a lot of stuff up. But anything you could do with so many other vegetables, you can do with zucchini. This size? When you let them get this big, and generally in the beginning of, we're not even in the summer yet, you really don't want to let them get this big, you can store this. This will store for months. Little ones will not because generally their skin is softer and tender and something will get into it and it could eventually rot. This can store for months. Let them get big. At the end of fall and into winter, you will have zucchini. You will have to peel it, but no big deal. I'm going to go through all this zucchini probably within a week you're gonna say within a week and you could also peel it chop it up put it on a cookie sheet freeze it in the freezer and as soon as they're all rock hard bag them all up in a plastic bag and you can pull out the zucchini as you need it you can put it in your soups casseroles whenever way you want to make it you could do everything with this Gary wanted to cut back on eggs. He noticed recently, he said, I think I'm eating too many eggs. He was eating too many eggs, five, six eggs a day. So now I chop up a zucchini, mix it in with a couple eggs, make him his omelet, and he doesn't even know that he's not getting all the eggs. You can eat as much zucchini as you want and you would be fine. This is my favorite fruit to grow. I hope to always be able to grow it and it is just fantastic to grow. I, I wish you would try it and then experiment with different things. You can make cookies out of it. You can make cake out of it. You can make your, your main course out of it. You can slice it up and bake it. You can do anything with zucchini. You really need to start looking into it. I think one of my favorites is pickling it. I really love it. I haven't pickled any yet this year, but I will because we were so excited to get zucchini. I've been grating it and making enchiladas constantly. And it's like a filler. You have a great big tray of enchiladas and you've got this grated. And I don't even do much with that. When I put my tortillas on the bottom and I don't roll my enchiladas, I like things easy. So everything is like flat in a big cake pan. When I grade this up, this goes on top of the tortillas, but I put a little bit of my sauce in it. Mix it up, spread it on top, and then put whatever else you want. You get a nice big casserole made out of zucchini and then everything else you want. You want to put beans in there, olives in there, cheese in there, meat in there. Everything you want, whatever you want. But you have this filler and you won't taste it. I guarantee your kids won't taste it. Your husband or wife won't taste it. They won't even know it's in there. And they're getting extra nutrients from something you hopefully grew in your garden. But of course you can buy it from the grocery store. And it goes such a long ways. It really does. This, you can cut it in two or three pieces, 
turn it upside down if I cut the bottom off, put it on a plate, leave it on my counter. I don't refrigerate it. And then the next day, pick it off the plate, cut off the bottom that was exposed to air, and then use the rest of it. You don't have to use the whole thing. So it's not like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this six pound zucchini? Ah, just cut off what you want and stick it on a plate. Let it sit there looking at you in the kitchen. And then because it's there, it's not out of sight, out of mind, you'll know the next day, well, gee, maybe for breakfast, I'll grate it up and put it in whatever you're making. You put it in your pancakes. Nobody's gonna know it's there or waffles. And you take it off the plate, cut off the little bit off the bottom, just a little bit, and then use it. I'm telling you, if you start to use it, you'll love it. I guarantee you, you'll love it. Let's do one more thing before we end this. I want to show you a zucchini plant that's been growing since last year that surprised me the other day. I haven't picked that one. I forgot I was going to. It's got a zucchini on it this big, but it's on its way out because I think that long winding cord is with this warm weather we're starting to get. It's starting to dry out, but you can get your zucchini going now get them planted, then have another set ready, maybe in a month or two, so you'll make sure you get some good plants that are strong enough to make it through the fall and into the winter and well into the spring before you start your summer crops. And you'll have zucchini all year. These particular totes, the way they were set up, with all the matter I put in there, everything from the garden, everything I've collected, kitchen scraps, created such a small amount of heat that these zucchini plants thought it was summer already and they have been fruiting from the day I planted them in there almost. They grew so fast. In the grounds, we'll grow a little slower until the ground warms up and we're at least 60 degrees at night. We still go down into the 50s. But in all my containers, my storage containers, my totes, even on the wall, as soon as I got them in there, they started the fruit. They were producing male and female flowers, and that's why we've gotten so much fruit. Let's go look at that one, and then that will be it for today. I want you to try zucchini. It grows fantastic, and if you've got critter problems, you can use tool. Let's go take a look at that one-year-old zucchini plant. So here is my one-year-old squash plant. Look at the long cord. I can't get through here. I'm about ready to pull this out. I leave the sound thistle for the goldfinches. This is a place I compost in place. We've even got papayas growing here. I potted one up in a cup and I've got about a hundred more left to go. But I compost in there and water in here. And then I also water in here. Anytime you put something on top in a tote, like a flower pot, you are creating a source of water for your squash plant, your zucchini plant, that needs water. Keep in mind, zucchini is full of water and it needs water. If you let it dry out, it will stress and it may not produce both male and female flowers. Make sure you keep it well watered. But a way you can get on that, I do not have a watering system, you can have a watering system put in, is I hand water maybe every other day. But I try to make sure I've got a flower pot in my containers on sitting on top, even a bucket with maybe something else growing in it, because no matter what, the water can't get through the fat flower pot unless it goes through all the soil. So if you lift up something, even a rock, you know how you lift up a rock and there's moisture underneath? Well, if you lift up a flower pot, there's always water underneath. And so this will help you keep water for your zucchini. Look at this long cord. And remember, zucchini doesn't, it doesn't leave. But what this is doing is it's kind of unwinding. It will grow leaves and then more flowers, leaves and more flowers. It doesn't grow tentacles where it's gonna go climbing. But because it's so old, it got so long. This is no joke. Look at this I found the other day. Is that amazing? We're gonna take this off. I don't know how long this plant will, will last for. Ah, and it dropped the little one too. I'm gonna grab the little one. But look at this. Look at this off this old, old plant. It's really struggling to stay alive. It's basically done. And I really didn't want to get rid of this. This is amazing. Because it was giving me zucchini when nothing else was giving me zucchini yet. So remember, the main thing is get your plants in there, keep them well watered. They're heavy feeders. But if you get your containers or if you're doing it in the ground and you dig a hole and you bury a lot next to it, and if you got critters, put something on top, stepping stones or something so nothing gets to it. 
You can have zucchini without you going and buying plant food. You can buy plant food, but I make my own by collecting from the garden. And in there, I was composting in that bucket in there, so that bucket was creating plant food for the zucchini all year. And that is why I can still get zucchini off an old plant. And it's just amazing. So try zucchini, think about it. Again, my number one plant, even before tomatoes. And you know what? Slice up some zucchini, put it in a pan, slice up your tomatoes if you're a tomato lover, sprinkle it with cheese, salt and pepper, bake it in the oven, and wow, you will like that too. Like I said, there's a million and one things you can do with this wonderful fruit. And guess what? Kitty loves it too. She can get the little one. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And please, it does help us if you like and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I get more videos up, whether it's from the garden or our little pollinators, the hummingbirds that have been flying all around my head while I've been doing this. Bye-bye. Unreal. Wow. Oh, wow. I do have a lot of cooking to do. And baking, too. I actually brought you in a little bit of squash. I like your squash. Oh, yeah. So I know where Daddy is. I'll take the whole thing. No, no, you don't need the whole thing. Here. It's the little squash that fell off the big old plant. Okay.